So this here is um, a prototype I did before this one. Um, this is just using like a Red Bull type size can with a, a rivet nut in the top. And this is a like a Coke can and an inverted Coke can um, inside there. If you use um, a can opener, you, and cut around the bottom lip of a Coke can, say like uh, this lip here, and take the top off. It's actually the right size. Um, you can stretch it just a little bit, but the right size for one of these to one of these cans to fit in really snugly, so you can slide it in that way. Then I probably have just glued along the inside of there. I don't remember how I built this one exactly. But anyways, um, I've just wrapped the the bit of. Um, wick around the outside. This was my first attempt at trying to make a incorporated pot stand um, that would also heat up uh, the alcohol inside the stove. Um, I thought that the alcohol jets having them much more powerful was going to make the stove better. Um, the jets are all inside here facing up at the, the can. The only thing about these stoves is um, since the jets are blowing at the can, if you don't have uh, water on top of it, you can pretty easily uh, wreck, wreck the stove because this can is too thin and it will burn through with the flames blowing directly at it, which is a pretty simple um, way to blow up your stove. Um, this one also is the same uh, thing can happen if you face these jets actually at the side of the stove instead of directly up. So I had another version of it where they were on this outside lip here facing at the center column and uh, it got so hot it you know, busted a hole in the side of it and had a giant flamethrower out the side. So anyways, I'll light this up. Actually, let me get some water here. So I'll light this up and put um, this tiny pot on top. The only thing I didn't like about this stove, which I like better about this one, is the center pot stand is so large that for a Heine pot you're not getting enough surface contact. So this one you'll get a fair bit more surface contact underneath as opposed to this one. But, um, here it goes. I already primed the wick before and added a bit of alcohol into it so you can see how it flames up. If I could get a slightly thicker aluminum can in the center, I'd feel a little bit more calm about it. There, it's calmed down. Um, it's probably burned off most of its alcohol. Maybe I need to show another one where I don't prime it half as much. Anyways, you can see the problem of pointing the, the jets directly at the center column instead of pointing them directly up, and so that's why I changed it to be like this one. This is, um, I believe this is a Vienna sausage can, top and bottom, that I put together, and this is like a one of those shaving cream cans. Um, and it just so happens that I think they're like a perfect drill size so it's pretty easy to drill out that center hole. Anyways, it's out already so it's un unsuccessful but an interesting design.